humankind, through the convictions of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, could need to reconsider an enthralling divulgence. The telescope has uncovered an enchanting peculiarity in Proxima Andromeda, the closest enormous star arrangement to us. In the midst of Proxima Andromeda stands a separated district with bizarre artificial lighting, leaving the sharp motivation region charmed. Could this be the far-reaching, expected evidence of extraterrestrial life beyond our solar system? How do specialists decide whether these lights suggest the presence of wise life on Proxima b? As we dive into the abilities of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, we explore what might be city lights from a planet 7 trillion miles from Earth. Interest in the universe's secrets remains giant, as innovative advancements have enhanced our capacity to investigate both Earth and the universe, prompting us to research the vast scope of the universe. Earth remains the only known planet to support life, yet the significant question persists. Are we alone, or are there signals from extraterrestrial life? In 1984, two American space specialists, Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson, launched a drive called the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI. This altruistic attempt was meant to filter through tremendous space radio transmissions, the primary method for searching for extraterrestrial communication. The 42 radio telescopes, placed in California's lower local areas, were exactly tuned to the universe's frequencies, known as the Allen Telescope Array. These instruments were designed to identify surprising signs from space. Regardless of broad efforts, no convincing proof of extraterrestrial activity has been found. However, continuous updates from NASA suggest that the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, could have identified artificial city lights from adjoining planets raising the question of whether the JWST could, indeed, be humankind's amazing leap forward in exploring the universe. The JWST is the most advanced instrument in humankind's history for understanding the universe. Situated around one million miles from Earth, this titanic telescope serves as our window into the earliest records of the universe, offering clearer insights into the development of structures, stars, and planets. Equipped with cutting-edge cameras and filters, the JWST enables astronomers to explore the vastness of the universe by examining specific light frequencies. The telescope also investigates exoplanets for indications of activity beneath their surfaces. Its unmatched ability to peer beyond conventional celestial bodies has led to remarkable discoveries, including the identification of more than 4,000 exoplanets, expanding our understanding of the universe's structure and dynamics. As humankind continues to push the limits of space exploration, the JWST plays a crucial role in uncovering the secrets of distant worlds. The discovery of these exoplanets highlights a significant shift in our quest to understand the universe. Red dwarf stars, which are cooler and smaller than our sun, present prime opportunities for studying planets that could support life. The TRAPPIST-1 system, with its seven Earth-sized planets, contains three within the star's habitable zone, where conditions could support liquid water. Despite their cooler temperatures, TRAPPIST-1's planets produce a faint, Earth-like light, suggesting they could potentially harbor life. Similarly, Proxima Andromeda, the closest major star to our solar system, is a faintly glowing star, and any planets orbiting it would be much closer to their sun than Earth is to ours. However, the conditions on these planets may not be conducive to life. The study of exoplanets has opened up an immense range of possibilities, revealing extraordinary planetary systems beyond our own. The investigation of red dwarf stars, which are the most common type in the universe, offers exciting opportunities for finding habitable planets. Despite their cooler temperatures, the TRAPPIST-1 system, with its location and presence of water vapor, highlights the potential for life-supporting conditions on exoplanets. With its cutting-edge instruments, the JWST continues to revolutionize our understanding by analyzing the conditions of exoplanets and identifying key molecules linked to organic development. As researchers examine extreme environments on Earth, such as those inhabited by extremophiles, they gain valuable insights into the potential for life to thrive in harsh conditions elsewhere in the universe. Whether searching for microbial life on distant worlds or more advanced extraterrestrial civilizations, each discovery brings humankind closer to answering one of its most fundamental questions. Are we alone in the universe?
The JWST's technological advancements are key to the ongoing search for extraterrestrial life. As these advancements continue, our ability to explore the farthest reaches of space grows dramatically. The mission for life beyond Earth remains one of the most captivating endeavors in science. The JWST, with its top-level instruments, contributes significantly to uncovering the universe's secrets and exploring the potential for life outside our solar system. As technological progress pushes the boundaries of what we thought possible, the JWST stands at the forefront of these investigations. Its extraordinary ability to detect and analyze atmospheric compositions provides crucial insights into the potential for life-supporting conditions on exoplanets. By searching for the presence of key molecules like water vapor, carbon dioxide, and oxygen, researchers can assess the likelihood of habitable conditions. This is especially important in the search for planets that may have conditions similar to Earth, where life as we know it could flourish. Not only does the JWST focus on Earth-like planets, but it also examines more extreme conditions, including those surrounding red dwarf stars. Although these stars are cooler and dimmer than our Sun, they are the most common type in the universe and often have planets within their habitable zones. The TRAPPIST-1 system, with its seven Earth-sized planets, provides an excellent example of a focus for such studies. Despite TRAPPIST-1's cooler temperatures, its planet's proximity to the star and the presence of water vapor suggest these worlds could support life. The study of extremophiles on Earth, creatures that thrive in extreme environments, offers valuable lessons for understanding where life could exist elsewhere in the universe. Extremophiles can survive in extreme temperatures, acidic conditions, or high radiation levels, challenging our understanding of life's limits. This research broadens the scope of potential conditions for life beyond Earth. As technology advances and our understanding of the universe expands, the search for extraterrestrial life progresses. The JWST, with its cutting-edge technology and unparalleled ability to peer into distant worlds, continues to play a crucial role in this exciting quest. Far-off exoplanets and environments address a critical jump forward in our investigative endeavors. Each new disclosure, whether it be a far-off exoplanet or a novel extremophile, adds to the developing mosaic of our comprehension of the universe. The review of exoplanets and extreme circumstances not only intends to answer the crucial question of whether we are separated from everyone else, but also enhances how we might interpret the conditions vital for life. The experiences acquired from the JWST and other essential advancements will shape our perception of the universe and guide future missions in the quest for life. At last, the quest for extraterrestrial life is a dynamic, advancing field driven by innovative progressions and humankind's unending interest. The JWST assumes a central role in this work, offering new viewpoints and potential outcomes as we continue exploring the vastness of space. Each disclosure makes us one step closer to unwinding the universe's secrets and figuring out our position in the grand vast plan. As we keep refining our quest for tenable universes and life-supporting circumstances, the JWST remains a pivotal instrument in this ongoing journey. Its capacity to study exoplanet atmospheres with astonishing detail, distinguishing chemical signatures of gases indicative of biological processes, makes it a crucial tool in the search for extraterrestrial life. By noticing far-off planets in the habitable zones of stars, space experts hope to identify planets that could potentially support life, or at least the conditions necessary for life as we know it. Moreover, the investigation of exoplanets isn't restricted to finding Earth-like worlds. The variety of exoplanets, ranging from gas giants to rocky planets with extreme temperatures, challenges how we might interpret planetary development and the potential for life in surprising circumstances. By looking at the climates of these planets, scientists can better understand the conditions under which life could arise and adapt in ways we might not have previously imagined. As the search for extraterrestrial life continues, the role of cutting-edge space telescopes like the JWST becomes increasingly important. The JWST's ability to observe exoplanets in phenomenal detail has opened up entirely new avenues for investigation. By detecting subtle changes in the atmospheres of far-off planets, the telescope can identify potential biomarkers, chemical marks that could indicate the presence of life. These biomarkers, such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide, 
are frequently associated with biological processes here on Earth. Identifying these gases on distant planets could suggest that similar processes are occurring elsewhere in the universe. In addition, the JWST's infrared abilities allow it to study the most distant and far-off objects in the universe, from exoplanets to distant galaxies. Infrared observations are especially significant as many of the key molecules associated with life, like water vapor and organic compounds, absorb and emit infrared radiation. By capturing this radiation, the JWST can gain insights into the chemical composition and potential habitability of far-off worlds. This ability to peer into distant star systems and their planets, combined with the telescope's advanced instruments, marks a major leap forward in our understanding of exoplanets and their potential to harbor life. The detection of water vapor on exoplanets is particularly significant, as water is considered one of the essential elements for life. Researchers are especially interested in studying planets within the habitable zone of their stars, where conditions are right for liquid water to exist on the surface. While the concept of a habitable zone is often associated with Earth-like planets, it is now understood that life might be able to exist in a wider range of conditions than previously thought. The discovery of water vapor on planets with extreme temperatures or in unexpected environments challenges the conventional understanding of where life could exist. In addition to examining exoplanet atmospheres, the JWST is also playing a vital role in understanding the formation and development of planetary systems. By observing young stars and their protoplanetary disks, the telescope provides valuable information about how planets form from dust and gas. These observations can help scientists understand the conditions that lead to the creation of habitable planets. For example, the JWST's ability to observe the early stages of planetary formation can shed light on how certain factors, such as the composition of a planet's atmosphere or the presence of water, might influence its ability to support life. Another significant aspect of the JWST's mission is its ability to explore the outer reaches of our own solar system. As the telescope observes distant objects in the Kuiper Belt and beyond, it provides a more detailed understanding of the formation of the outer solar system and the potential for life on smaller, icy bodies. Some scientists believe that moons in the outer solar system, like Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, or Enceladus, a moon of Saturn, could harbor life beneath their icy surfaces. The discovery of subsurface oceans on these moons, combined with the JWST's ability to study their atmospheres and surface features, may provide crucial evidence for the presence of life in extreme environments. As the JWST continues to make groundbreaking discoveries, its impact on the field of astrobiology, the study of life in the universe, becomes increasingly important. The telescope is not only helping researchers identify potentially habitable planets, but is also allowing them to study how life could exist in conditions vastly different from Earth. By studying extreme environments on Earth, such as deep ocean hydrothermal vents or acidic underground springs, scientists are gaining insights into the types of conditions where life might arise elsewhere in the universe. These studies are expanding the definition of habitability and broadening the scope of the search for extraterrestrial life. The search for life is not limited to planets alone. Researchers are also investigating the possibility that life could exist in the vast interstellar medium, the space between stars. While the conditions in interstellar space are harsh and inhospitable by Earth standards, there are molecules and compounds that have been detected in this region that could play a role in the development of life. The JWST's ability to detect these molecules in interstellar clouds could provide new insights into the processes that lead to the formation of life in the universe. In this sense, the JWST is helping bridge the gap between molecular science and the biological processes that define life. As we look beyond our own solar system, the search for extraterrestrial life takes on a broader scope. The JWST's ability to observe distant worlds some of which formed billions of years ago, allows researchers to explore the conditions that existed during the early universe. By studying the formation and evolution of galaxies, stars, and planets, astronomers can gain a better understanding of the factors that contribute to the emergence of life. This is especially significant, as the conditions necessary for life may have been different in the past, and the early universe may have been more conducive to the formation of life than it is today. The JWST is also contributing to the study of astronomical phenomena that may be directly related to the search for life.
For example, the telescope's observations of black holes in the very large black holes at the centers of galaxies can provide insights into the role these objects play in the formation of stars and planets. Additionally, the JWST is studying the effects of intense radiation on planets and their atmospheres, which is important for understanding the habitability of distant worlds. Intense radiation can have a significant impact on the potential for life, and by studying how radiation affects exoplanet atmospheres, scientists can better assess whether a planet is capable of supporting life. As the JWST continues to send back data from its observations, it is becoming increasingly clear that the search for extraterrestrial life is not a question of if, but when. The telescope's discoveries are reshaping our understanding of the universe and the conditions necessary for life. While the search for life may take decades or even centuries, the JWST is laying the foundation for future generations of astronomers, astrobiologists, and explorers who will continue the quest for life beyond Earth. The mission for extraterrestrial life is also driving collaboration between space agencies, research institutions, and universities around the world. The data collected by the JWST is being shared with researchers across the globe, fostering international cooperation in the search for life. This collaborative approach ensures that discoveries made by the telescope are interpreted from a variety of perspectives and that the search for life is as thorough and comprehensive as possible. Furthermore, the information gained from the JWST mission will inform the development of future space missions and technologies that will further enhance our ability to explore the universe. As the JWST mission progresses, it is clear that it will continue to push the boundaries of space exploration and expand our understanding of life in the universe. With each new discovery, whether it be a distant exoplanet, a novel chemical signature, or a hidden ocean beneath an icy moon, humankind is one step closer to answering one of its most fundamental questions. Are we alone in the universe? As we continue to explore the cosmos, the JWST stands as a testament to human curiosity, development, and the constant pursuit of knowledge.